Hi, this is Jan Herkosh with the FuelistGenerator.net. If you're watching this video on YouTube, learn more at FuelistGenerator.net. Today we're looking at three different solar panels here. We're going to do a quick charging test, uh, feeding the DC power from these panels to the L1500 Humless Fuelist Generator. The panel we see in the middle here is a, uh, this is the panel that comes stock with the L1500. It's the Bosch panel. If you've already bought an L1500, this is probably the unit that you're currently using, or you may have a couple. It's a 24 volt, 100 watt panel. This panel here is another panel we're looking at and gonna test, we're testing, and we'll likely bring this on board sooner than later. Uh, this is, a, again, a folding panel. Good metal uh, structure. It's 100 watts, and it's a 12 volt panel. This panel over here is very unique and extremely light. This is a, what they call a flexible panel. And you can see I can flex this panel. Uh, I've seen these used uh, for boats, uh, marine uh, type situations. Uh, it's got little holes here for tethered. I've seen them people put Velcro at the bottom and then stick them onto their boats. Uh, again, it can take quite a bit of wiggling and whatnot. Nice thing about this panel, it's very light. Uh, 100 watt again, and it's a 12 volt panel. Uh, could be propped up like this to use, could be propped up like that against something, against the wall. However, um, nice panel. I like it because it's very light and you still get some good charging power from that. So what we're going to show you here is using three panels with three different cables going back to the, um, to the Humless L1500 and show you uh, that having more charging power does make sense. The other thing we're going to uh, learn today by doing this is uh, these two outside panels um, are 100 watt panels. These are newer, a little different construction than this, and they actually uh, induce the charging process on the L1500, and we'll see that by plugging one in and unplugging the other, showing you that these outperform this panel a little bit. Still a good panel, still a good value in the bundle. However, if you need more charging power, I'm going to recommend these two outside panels. Again, they uh, pr produce some great power, and I think they're going to be a better value. Uh, I'm going to walk up to the camera real quick here, and I'm going to zoom in to these panels real quick just so we can see. There's the foldable panel. Now, what you're going to, I'm going to zoom in here, and you can see that's the Anderson connector. You really can't see it too well, but it's a DC connector that folds that panel. Here's the other panel, foldable, and you'll see that's a MC4 connector, and that extension cable then comes back to the humless with the Anderson pole. And again, the foldable panel, again, you'll see the MC4 connectors, and that cable comes all the way around right back to the humless, where I'm going to be testing these panels in just a few minutes. So stand by, I'll be right back, and we'll run a test. Okay, here we are. So we're going to um, do this uh, quick charging test. And the first thing we're going to do is I've got a cable here. And this cable is coming from the center panel, which is a 100 watt foldable Bosch. And this is the unit that comes with your humless currently. And so you'll see now the, uh, you'll see that it just shows 99 hours, almost 100 hours to use. We've got about half a battery charge half charge. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the Anderson connector, one of them. And now what we're going to see is with this one panel plugged in, it's going to take approximately six hours and 22 minutes to recharge the unit. Okay. Now we have all the panels sitting out there flat on the driveway. So they're all seeing the same amount of light from the sun. So now what I'm going to do is I got another cable here. Now this is the foldable, it's actually actually the flexible panel. Again, another Anderson connector. So what I'm going to do is unplug this panel, let it shut down, and then plug this back in. <clears throat> now what you're immediately going to see is the charge time is less by significant amount. So we've got now four, around five hours, four hours. It'll bounce back and forth till it kind of normalizes the input coming from the 100 watt flexible panel. So that's the little panel on the left hand side, an aftermarket product that we're going to carry. So you can see that the charge time is going to be faster. So it's producing a little bit more power. 
Now I've got another cable here which goes over to the black foldable panel, which again is an aftermarket product we're going to carry on a fuelless generator. And I'm going to unplug the flexible panel, wait for it to recharge back there, and then I'm going to plug this one in. And again, what you're going to see is a very, a very close to identical charge time. So the conclusion here is the two end panels, which are the aftermarket panels, 100 watt foldable and flexible panel, charge a bit quicker than the existing center panel, which is the Bosch. Uh, reason for that, I really don't know. I just think the other panels are a bit more efficient. They're soaking up more sun and charging the unit quicker. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going <clears> to <throat> add in another panel, which is the flexible panel. There. Now we see the charge down jump down quite a bit. So now we've got two panels charging. And now I'm going to bring in the third panel, which is the uh, Bosch in there. So, the result here we're seeing is, obviously, three panels are going to charge the unit much quicker and um, from, a, uh, from about a half charge, as we're showing here, because I depleted the unit. So, is there an advantage to having three panels? Absolutely. Is there an advantage to having two? Absolutely. One works, but if you were out of power for uh, a long extended period of time, having more charge power is going to be a very good idea. So here's a three panel charge and we looked at all the different charging ability of these three panels and um, so the two new panels that we looked at today uh, that are not shipped with the Humless currently will be available on fuelessgenerator.net soon as I can get them up there and um, I think they're going to be a better value and uh, a better charge. So um, that's the end of this video for now. And a three panel charge, one, two, and three panel charge actually. And we discerned which panels put out a bit more power. All right. More information at fuelishgenerator.net. Again, Jan Herkosh, and we'll talk to you soon at another informative video.